I'm Krishna Card. Thank you for being with us today. And today I'm going to discuss with you the new TJ Holistic Process, which was approved by Fairfax County Public Schools Board last December 17, 2020. So a couple of changes. There are some things that they have changed from last year. Number one, they removed the universal screening and they replaced it with essay math and science problem solving essay and uh, the student information sheet is now student um, portrait sheet and uh, they still consider the GPA but they did remove the teacher recommendations so um, let me walk you through this process so I am a literacy coach and reading specialist by profession and I served in um, Loudoun County Public Schools as a reading specialist and literacy coach and uh, in Fairfax County Public Schools as well. So what I do, I, what I did there, I trained um, classroom teachers from K to 12 and modify, help them, I helped them modify the instructions in reading and writing. And then after that, I resigned from uh, Fairfax County Public Schools when my two sons went to college. Uh, they actually graduated from TJ. Uh, and then, you know, my husband and I settled here in Loudoun County. Uh, after I resigned from uh, Fairfax County Public Schools, I continue my passion for literacy by um, serving and training um, teachers all over the world. Uh, this latest picture here is my, you know, the picture in Copenhagen, Denmark. And uh, this one, the, the other one on the right is in, is from Italy. So, um, and also I'm serving as, um, as part of the think tank group in uh, Teachers College, Columbia University. Okay. So this is actually, I, these are my two sons who graduated from TJ. And this is actually the TJ, the old TJ before it, it was renovated. So that was a long time ago. So my firstborn son is, uh, his name is Aldrin. He graduated 2015 and uh, from TJ. And this is my youngest son, our, our youngest son, uh, JR. He graduated from TJ uh, in 2016. And uh, yeah, that's our family. And um, he finished Stanford uh, 2020 during the pandemic. And he's now working at uh, Los Angeles. Okay, so now let's move on to the new TJ HST holistic admissions process. Okay, the good thing is um, in the past they have been accepting 480 students and this year they will be um, increasing the, the number of students admitted to 550. So that's one good thing, okay? And uh, they change a lot. So, um, the first thing that they need to, that the student needs to display is basically the aptitude in math and science, but obviously it's a STEM school. And um, the student will need to answer math and science problem solving when they uh, do the application online. And then they will write a lot of um, essay. So they call it before student information sheet. Uh, now they will do student portrait sheet where they have to the students will have to answer series of uh, questions uh, online. Uh, they will need to display at least, or uh, at least they need to have an unweighted 3.5 GPA um, in all uh, subjects. And that means, um, you know, English, math, science, social studies, and we'll discuss it further. And experience factors, those are just like, you know, economic, economic, um, disadvantage, um, ELL, English language learning, if the student is in special education or they are, or they go to underrepresented school. So, but these are um, the major ones, okay? And extreme blind now, before it's two rounds, now it's uh, just one round, okay? So let's zoom in on the math and science problem solving essay. So in the past, um, they do all of this universal screening test. Now it's just math and science problem solving essay. And um, they said on their website that it should just be math or science, or it can be both. So it's very important that students need to be prepared in answering uh, math and science problem solving. 
uh, because the essay is kind of like different. Uh, I don't think the middle schoolers are exposed to that. So there are certain ways to kind of like display um, the student's uh, thought process in essay writing. Okay. Uh, student portrait sheet. So student portrait sheet, it's basically, um, we have a class for this uh, and you can see it in our blog. Uh, I'll show it to you later uh, at the end of this video. Um, the student portrait sheet, it's just a series of um, questions that your student will write about. And this is something that uh, your student will, will need uh, because the, the genre that they are using in student portrait sheet is reflective genre. And that is something that's not, um, that, that's not um, been exposed. I, I mean, all middle school students are not exposed to um, reflective genre. It's a high school genre essay writing. So um, that's something that they are, they will be in the learning curve for that. And that's something that they will learn in the class. So in the class, we will just teach them how to um, create lens or perspective from their writing. So in that way, in their student portrait sheet, they can display their aptitude in STEM. At the same time, uh, they can display those uh, portraits of a graduate that they're looking for, that the TJ admissions uh, committee is looking for, okay? So um, I don't need to probably explain this because this is kind of like self-explanatory. But these are the qualities of a portrait for graduate that um, the TG admissions uh, committee is looking for. And just like what I said, um, we will teach your student how to look for, how, how to look for, uh, it's like perspective, how to create perspective in the writing. So basically the student portrait sheet uh, class uh, of Young Scholar Circle, it will enhance your students' writing skills. And at the same time, um, you know, teach them how to create lens or uh, how to create an angle in, in the writing, okay? So um, we will help your students uh, put together their uh, resume. Uh, at the same time, um, again, from this resume, we will give them, um, we will teach them how to, um, you know, um, make that, make that cut, how to um, be noticed by the TJ admissions committee and how to show off uh, some of the um, um, portraits of a graduate like communicate or ethical and global citizens, how to show it off from their, um, from, from their resume. So basically it's reflective essay writing, but at the same time, uh, you have to write it in a certain way. So in that way, um, you give the, the reader a lens or perspective of um, what they're looking for. If they are um, seeing that problem solver, solver uh, in your child, if your child is a leader, and there are certain ways to kind of like do that. And those are some of the things that your child, um, your student would need. Another one is, uh, of course, the the grade point average. And I know majority of you, um, if your student is an advanced academic program or AAP or uh, Futura or Spectrum in Loudoun County, um, this one is not usually a problem. Um, the minimum requirement is only 3.5 GPA and that's unweighted. So. Uh, unweighted means um, they don't take into consideration if you are if your student is in algebra honors or geometry honors or algebra two in eighth grade. So unweighted means as is, and they will need to take into consideration um, their math, English, social studies, and science. Okay, so those four core subjects. But if your student has some um, you know, has some, uh, say for example, language courses, that's a full credit course. So of course that will be uh, credited as well, in addition to those four core subjects. And as you notice here, um, they will count the GPA, the whole seventh grade GPA, it's a full year credit. And then the first quarter of eighth grade, which is a 0.25 credit, okay? Uh, again, they do not wait. So whether your student is in geometry or algebra one honors or algebra two honors, they do not wait. 
And uh, one another requirement is, um, of course, the minimum requirement is they need to be in algebra and honors, at least in math and uh, science. Their science needs to be in honors class to be considered. And another one in honors class, maybe if your student is a young scholar or if your student is an, in AAP, for sure, he has all honors classes or he or she has all, all honors classes. Okay, so they just wanted to make sure that your student in math and science have honors, are, are in honors classes. And uh, another one, either English or social studies should be an honors class, okay? So um, now that it's 550 students, um, in the past, it's basically the top ones. Now this time they're kind of like a, a pathway. So you, as you notice here, it's kind of like a pie. So it's divided, okay? So this is only for 2021. And these numbers might change in 2022 admissions, okay? So for region one, they will get the top 81 kids. For region two, they will get the top 85. Uh, in Loudoun County, they will get the top 68 and so on and so forth, okay? And in Arlington County, they will get 20. And in Falls Church, they will Falls Church City, they will get two. Prince William County, they will get 75, okay? So this is kind of like self-explanatory and uh, feel free to pause the video and take a picture of this. Uh, and then, um, it's important that um, your student will uh, excel in wherever region they are, okay? So that's the composition of top 550, okay? So if you have some questions, feel free to um, call me. This is my number, my cell phone. You can text me there. Um, also, I have an email address. This is my email address, krishnakart at youngscholarcircle.com, okay? Uh, I'll show you... Um, before you leave, I'll show you where, uh, I'll show you, I'll lead you to our website and I'll show you in our website where you can um, enroll for our classes. So here's our website. So you go to uh, www.youngscholarcircle.com uh, and to navigate it, so you have to just put your cursor on um, this test prep and um, you click on science and math problem solving and you will see um, the schedule here um, and then you just add it to your cart, okay? And then when you add it to your cart, it will um, of course view your cart and then proceed to check out. Um, it's very important that you put a credit card and then from there, you will be prompted to create, uh, you know, username and password. Um, yeah, okay. Don't put check payment because check payment, uh, we cannot put the diagnostic test uh, in your dashboard until we get the, the payment. So it might delay the process. And the check usually goes to our office. Um, I don't go there now because of COVID. We have some COVID cases um, according to our landlord. So um, it's very important to, um, to just put credit card, okay? So in that way, I can put the diagnostic test on your dashboard quickly, okay? Now for the um, uh, student portrait writing, you go to test prep and then click on student portrait writing. Scroll down, the same thing, you got to add it um, to your card. And then that's basically the schedule, okay? And then this description and you'll add it to your card. Okay, uh, the same thing, you can um, view your card and you'll create username and password. If you put them together, you'll just create one username and password. And that username and password needs to be available to your student. Uh, so in that way, he can, uh, he or she can log in independently and um, all our materials will be on our dashboard. He needs or she needs that um, login information to access all our tests and all our materials. And uh, we record the class. So um, basically what happens in student portrait writing sheet um, in, in my class, so I handle the um, SPS writing workshop. So what it does is we um, we have a focus, um, focus lesson with like a whole group, 
lesson. And then um, after that, uh, I break the students into um, small group, not small group, but individual. Uh, so I break them into a Zoom room. And that's how I um, connect with them. So we discuss all of their um, STEM extracurricular activities, and then I help them individually. And then I jump in from one Zoom room to another Zoom room. That's kind of like um, in the actual class, uh, in-person class, that's kind of like the teacher-student conference. So the breakout room portion is not recorded, but the whole class instruction is recorded uh, for, for my class, which is the writing workshop class. Now for the math and science problem solving essay, uh, since it's whole class instruction, everything is recorded and the recorded ones uh, will be put in your um, student's dashboard. So the student dashboard is basically kind of like the 24 seven, Blackboard 24 seven, where we store all the materials and quizzes. And uh, of course you need to log in and it's only available for um, students who have paid and registered, okay? And again, my number is 571, you, you, you can see my number, 571-426-4639. Uh, Email me if you have some questions or reach out to me or text me uh, and I'll be glad to help you out. Okay, thank you.